Well, the coaches are ready. That means the players are more than ready to get on the rift, and we're going to be heading into game three soon. So start sharing your picks for this match on Twitter. Send hashtag CLGWin or hashtag DIGWin to at LOL Esports as usual, and you'll be seeing how your vote counts in just a little bit at the bottom of the screen as we get into this third firefight going on in the day. The North American LCS Summer Split Game 3 here for 2015 going live. And it is going to be CLG versus Team Dignitas. We'll see you watching. You're really not in the flow. Who knows? There's a lot of variables as these teams come in. Oh, we oh, no. flashed straight into it. This is where the CC gets piled on. And as I say, it's a tempered game. First blood comes from the ash arrow of double lift and the kill to Xmithy. Trying to see a little movement from Gamsu there. I thought he was hauling ass all the way down to Dragon. I thought it would be weird. They're down numbers, but he stays in the top lane. Looks like he's just putting a ward down towards Crap. Whoa. Oh, Melter a little too antsy in the pantsy. He misses the last soldier. Ziggy <laughs> flashes over and just bops him on the head with the flail. Kathy in surprise will not hurt Shifter too bad. He stays in lane. Have enough to relieve the pressure and come back. So we'll see how it works now that they can do -si do with those blue buffs in mid lane. A round two. Oh, God, go forward in, I should say, out of his turret rag aggro into CLG's aggro. Yep. And that hurt. Has to stop this one. Nope. Oh. Watch out. Grabbing a little why aggro. Uh, why on to Aphromoo? That just doesn't make much sense. Why on to Aphromoo? Indeed. He can just break that crowd control immediately. And they're on to a zingy, making sure if the tank is dead, everybody else is going to pop immediately to this team. Especially since Pole Belter can start to living artillery the squishy targets on the outside now. Six turrets to zero. 22 minutes in, Jat. Absolutely crazy play. This happens when you have full map control. The pink wards are forward for CLG. The hawk shots were in the right spot. The arrows from the fog of war doesn't let Dignitas engage from anywhere. And we'll see if Zion Spartan goes down here. Gamsu flies in, but he only has about 10% mana as he gets into the core of the fight. Can't do much from that point on. JJ out with Kiwi Kid on the backside as CLG still kind of just able to spit in that damage from long range. Jeez, and then when Gamsu actually does teleport in, it's after he shoved with the bottom lane, so still yeah. zero turrets for them. Oh boy. AP Kog'Maw burst. Oh, Shifter. <laughs> a lot of scary things happening right now. Oh, he took... Shot right through the soldiers. <laughs> right, <laughs> right through the shields. Double item power spike for double lift as well. Like everything is timing just right here for CLG, and they're just gonna wait for Dignitas to jump on them or wait until they can get initiation. I mean, he's dead before he jumps in. Gamsu died on the, on the way in pretty much. They are able to grab double lift on the backside. Shifter gets his target. Now he's 1v1 pull Belter, but it's only a few shots for Belter to take those kills for himself. And it actually goes over to Zion. They are making sure pull Belter is not alone in these fights ever. And it helps to keep him alive as well. Only double lifts goes down. And they definitely can't get caught out of position. They're trying to push that top wave. So close to taking the turret down. What? Oh, right by. Can't do much to get out of this one. It's a flash in from Aframu as well. And Core JJ is just completely caught out of position. Cannot get help from Kiwi Kid. You saw the team saying, try to get out of this if we can. It's not the fight we want to take. And it was not a fight they wanted to take. Quick lane swaps in the early game, and that seemed to right everything for CLG to come through. Now Gamsu gets Whoa. hit. They want to clear the last few members of Dignitas off the rift before they clear the Nexus. That's at least going to be two more, or one more, I should say. Gamsu got out alive with his life as they start in the Nexus turrets. Works out. It's nice. See what yeah. they can get out of this one. Zingy goes in. He goes down quick, not even able to get the ult oh, there. Shipper. Thought the team was following behind. Eluden's Echo blows up and hits Kiwi Kid as well. They're all very low. Double lift getting the double kill on this one. And it looks like he'll pick up one more as the bag of chips. They go on to the Nexus turrets. They did not lose a turret this game defending their base. And Counter Logic Gaming are going to come up with their first win on the summer split. 16 to 3, 32 minutes in. CLG takes down Team Dignitas. And it's very rare in this day and age to win a game without losing a single turret. It goes to show how well CLG was playing these lane swaps, rotating around, always beating Team Dignitas to the spot.